Hey yo, what's up guys, you know what I'm saying? Junk's getting pretty more professional, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, quick little announcements. Tomorrow's my birthday, so if y'all want to be real gangsters, bro, give this video a like. Maybe a comment or two. And, yeah, it looks like I got a tripod, but I actually don't, bro. I'm just, like, literally setting up my phone on, like, the side of my tank so that I'm able to see the reflection of the video on there just so I know that I'm in frame. Yeah, it's a really complex system, but hopefully it works, and hopefully these AirPods are picking up the audio, because if not... This video is going to suck booty hole. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, we got a banger video, bro. This is kind of Go Herping's idea. It's rating my animal's personality or my reptile's personalities. I thought it was a good idea. I've seen it a while ago and I've always just had it in the back of my mind like, dude, I want to make a video like that. So, screw it. I'm going to make a video like that. Um, technically, I'm ripping off Go Herping's idea, bro. But that fool, like, he has like 300,000 subscribers or something, bro. I got a thousand, so chill, okay? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so um, I came a little bit closer to the camera just so y'all can see the snake better. And yeah, this is my BCI. And low-key, the lighting's trash. Hold up. Okay, hopefully the lighting's better. If not, I'm gonna cry. But yeah, so this is my BCI, you know what I'm saying? Um, Bobo Constrictor. Imperator? Yeah, this is a Bobo Constrictor Imperator. Not the Boa Constrictor Constrictor, which is the one that you can find in Colombia, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, honestly, this dude's hella chill, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's real slow moving, he's not defensive at all. Um, yeah, solid 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Just chill in your hand, let you pet him, do all that. I'll literally hand this to my little sister because that's how confident I am that he won't bite or anything. Takes down food like a freaking beast, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I just feel like he enjoys life, you know what I'm saying? He's real lazy, um, as most boas are. Boas are, like, real slow-moving, at least in my opinion, or from my experiences with having boas. So, yeah, nice, slow-moving reptile, slim-bodied, and, yeah, beautiful colors, if y'all care about that. I really don't, but at the same time, I do, so, yeah. I don't know why I just said I don't, because I, I pretty much do. And, yeah, dude. Like, just look at this dude. He is dope as hell. Yeah, guys. So, if I had to give this guy a rating, because I think I'm going to give ratings to all the pets that I show you guys, I would have to say this dude's a solid 10 out of 10, bro. He's probably one of the smarter snakes that I have compared to all the other ones that I do have. He doesn't look derpy. He looks more menacing, but in a nice way, if that makes sense. So, yeah. This guy is a freaking beast, bruh. Dope. Let's move on to something else. Next up, we got something that's pretty interesting, bruh. This is going to be a fun one to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I bet a bunch of you guys that watch this can relate to this guy right here. This is a leopard gecko. Wow, who would have thought? But yeah, this is my leopard gecko. He's the homie. Um, Yeah, honestly... He's been abused throughout his whole entire life, man. He's missing hella toes. Got that little squishy weirdo tail. The rege regenerated tail. And it looks like not right. It's like in the shape of an arrowhead. Super weird or a teardrop. If y'all can see. Yeah. And yeah, bro. Honestly, he's probably about to shed. Because he does look like kind of like dark or whatever. Or that texture that you could see a reptile when it's about to shed. It's like has this white layer over it. But, yeah, it's not super white right now because he's probably just barely in the process of shedding. But, yeah, you can definitely tell that he's most likely going to shed. And, yeah, bro, this guy, he seems to me just so dumb that he can't even comprehend, like, the dangers around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy will literally just, if I put him on my bed, he'll walk off and just fall off, like, about two or three feet. Like, he'll just, he just does not understand what the hell's happening. And, also... When it comes to eating, this fool will literally try to eat something and bite literally right next to it, bro. His death perception is all bad. Like, I see other leopard geckos, and they'll actually be able to tell, like, where the where the food item or the prey item is actually going. This guy has no idea how to differentiate what the hell, what the, hell the prey item is going to do. So he'd just be up biting air until he finally gets it. He also, like, likes to lick, 
insects, bro. Like before he eats them. I don't know if it's some weird fetish, you know what I'm saying? I don't my my hat's off to you, homie. And yeah. One good thing I'd like to say about him though, he's never pooped on me. So that's cool. Leopard geckos aren't known to be pooping on people, but yeah, I just thought I might put that in anyways because I was looking at his enclosure and he looked, he has some poop in there. So I got to clean that out. And that's what made me think of that. But yeah, man, honestly, dude, this guy's dope, bro. It's a nice leopard gecko. He has no claws, so he can't really grab onto things or else I would show you guys a way better view of him. He'll literally just fall off my hand and he's a good eater. You know what I'm saying? Um, he'll eat pretty much every anything. I gave him wax worms for the first time yesterday. Dude, he was Mick loving them, bruh. Oh my gosh. He was, they were like freaking cracked to this fool, man. I swear to God. And yeah, bruh. Super dope. They feel like velvet in case you guys ever wanted to know what a leopard gecko feels like. Kind of like velvet. It's weird. And yeah, I'll give this guy a solid 8 out of 10 just because of the derp points you get a lot of dirt points his skill level mentally is not the best or up there that high but yeah he's still he's still gangster bro and i love him so yeah let's move on to something else i'll get a lizard i love her this is like one of my favorite pets Mwah. okay even though she took a fatty on me yesterday bro oh that joke was yellow and green nasty but yeah this girl is freaking awesome bro like just look at her I don't know if y'all can see that, but just look at her. She's freaking fire, bruh. Um, she got the face of a dragon. You know what I'm saying? She looks like she's straight out of... Oh my gosh, she just went on my table. Hey, chill, chill. Usually she doesn't mind being held, but right now, um, she's not loving it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, yeah. Um, she doesn't mind being held that much. Um, she'll get away if she can, but as soon as you, like, just put her on you, she'll just crawl around and explore you. So, yeah. When I first caught her, kind of a funny story, um, I grabbed her. And she would open her mouth at me and go, like, barely open her mouth as if she was going to bite. But she never did, bro. She's so nice. That's why I just had to keep her. Because usually, when you find alligator lizards that look like these, the ones with the big head. And honestly, I believe that these are, like, a whole separate genus from the southern alligator lizards. Because they look nothing alike. And they act completely different. But I ain't a scientist. I ain't about to write a paper on what my belief is. But... Yeah, dude, when you usually find one like this, they're hella aggressive. They're trying to bite you and they're just trying to beat you up pretty much because they think you're like something that's trying to eat them. But this one had an understanding that like, I ain't trying to eat you, bro. You chill. You the homie. So really smart, bro. I would say this is like a pretty smart animal. So yeah, man, I feel like this thing is like just just smart, man. I don't even know how to say it. Like this is the Einstein of my reptiles right here, man. Like, this girl probably knows how to write nuclear codes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, this is probably the smartest reptile I have, bruh. Of all the many reptiles that I have, this one is the smartest for sure. So, I'll give this one a solid 10 out of 10, bruh. Everything got some high rankings, to be honest. And, yeah. Let's move on to something more crazy. The other alligator lizard. Let's get it, bruh. Okay. This is my other alligator lizard, and she might jump on me, off of me, a few times during this video. Oh, crap. What'd I say? Oh, crap. Um, technical difficulties. Remember, guys, never constrict an alligator lizard's movement, or else you will get bit or pooped on. Or a tail dropped. But yeah. Oh, crap. Yo, chill. Chill. Yo, okay. Usually what I gotta do to calm this girl down when she's doing stuff like this is... Like, give her a treat or I give her some food. But I literally just fed her. So she is not going to eat. You can tell she is fat as hell. And, yeah, bro. Just look at her. She's calmed down a little bit in my hand. You know what I'm saying? Not much. Oh, chill, chill, chill. And this lizard is honestly... Just being with alligator lizards have really taught me how to read what the lizard's about to do. And what the lizard's thinking. Because this is like... This just shows off the modern lizard brain, if that makes sense. In the sense that lizards, all they want to do is get away from you. They think that you're trying to eat them. Um, a lot of things feed on them in the wild. So this one has that brain of like, this thing's about to eat me, I need to run. So it'll start to act dead, like right now. It's not moving because it wants me to let my guard down so that once it thinks that it's the good time, it'll jump off and try to get away. But I've slowly learned 
how to read that just from experiencing it and trying to tame this girl down. And I have been successful in doing it, but I have like stopped holding her as much just because of all the pets that I have. So yeah, every time that I do take her out, it is kind of fun to deal with. I have been bit by her once, once when I first caught her. And the second time I was trying to get mites off of her, she bit me. And yeah, she's been mite free. She's been doing really well and she can get pet a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But after a while, she will like have enough and just do the dash. So honestly, she's not smart enough to comprehend that I'm not trying to hurt her. It's like every single time I put her back, she completely forgets the time that we spent together. So honestly, not the wisest in my opinion. And yeah, she's pretty crazy. She does have beautiful colors though, but I could just tell like she has fear in her eyes. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell when a lizard has fears, fear in its eyes. When you make eye contact with the lizard, you can tell that it's going through something that you would not want to go through if you were in that lizard's position. So honestly, I would give this girl a solid six out of 10, bro, just because I kind of love that craziness. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want all my lizards to have it, but yeah, solid six out of 10, just because she ain't that smart. And yeah, her, her personality is not the best. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's move on to some more snakes. This right here, as y'all can hopefully see, this is my rosy boa, Rosie. And it is a male, yet I gave it the name Rosie because why the hell not? But yeah, in all seriousness, I freaking love this snake right here. This is probably my favorite snake. Okay, and you're probably like, why the hell is this your favorite snake, bro? It's like so basic. And I am a weirdo. For many reasons. Don't know why I brought that up. That has nothing to do with this. So pretty much, I love animals that live near me, kind of. You know what I'm saying? I love BCIs because they're kind of near me in the same continent. I especially love all the ecosystem, I guess, or ecological niches that fill this continent of North America and South America. But especially California. Anything that can be found in California, I have a special love for, okay? And yeah, these can be found in, Cal found in California. Alligator lizards can be found in California. This one, I have never actually found rosy boas in the wild, bruh. Um, so yeah, and I would never take them from the wild just because I have, they're already bred in captivity. There's no reason for me to take one from the wild. If literally no one, if no one ever bred these in captivity and they were super rare, then I would possibly take it for the wild just so I could start to breed them in captivity and then make them more available. But yeah, these guys you can find pretty easily. I always find them on Craigslist. They're always up there and they're beautiful. They don't bite and when they do bite, it doesn't hurt that much. They, they're they really intelligent. You could just see the arrogance in their movement when they like slither around or whatever. But this one, y'all see them eyes? Y'all see them eyes, bruh? This thing is a derp. This is as derpy as they come, bruh, no cap. This thing has the most craziest eyesight i have ever seen bruh what is that eye what are them eyes bruh why them eyes built like that and yeah bruh i honestly do love this snake um i'll give it a solid 10 out of 10 for its personality when i first got it it was biting me the owner that previously kept this was like dude it's a dangerous snake bruh be careful like like beware it is aggressive watch out when you first handle it he came down with the um cage because i bought the cage as well he's all sweating he's like yeah bro i just got bit a few times it was a battle and then i got this girl she bit me like two times and then never has tried biting me again bro i'm so confident in this girl's personality that i hand it to my little siblings yeah it just it just doesn't bite bro i don't know what the hell that dude was doing it to, doing to it to make it fear humans so much but yeah this thing is honestly not that fearful bro like come on now so yeah, Rosie Boa, 10 out of 10. Great personality. Let's move on to something else. Okay, so fix that lighting real quick. Have it adjusted to me so y'all can see what the hell is happening. But this right here is my crackhead spinner ball python. And yeah, low key, if I'm being honest, this thing fucked, bro. I need to get this thing on a diet real quick because yeah, bro, I was scared that, that I don't really keep all pythons. First of all, let me say that 
okay this thing isn't morbidly obese but it's a little bit obese you know what i'm saying you should see like this little triangular thing on her and you could barely see it it's like faint with this with this guy right here so yeah i should probably calm down with the food you can see she has little fat musculatures and stuff i've been holding her more often just so she can move around and hopefully burn off some of that weight because she does she did for a while just stay in her cage and i would hold her probably like two three times a week but now i want to hold her every single day so yeah and i keep on calling it a her it is a male anyways this guy is psychotic he got that wobble you know what i'm saying he got that neurological disorder from the spider morph and spinner is spider plus pastel i think i don't know i ain't really into breeding ball pythons um i didn't breed this dude i would never breed a spinner or whatever or spider or whatever just because i know how mess up it could make the ball python so yeah it is a beautiful morph if i'm being honest but just the consequences that come with that morph aren't the best but i mean i'm not gonna judge you if you do it i'm just saying for me personally i wouldn't do it and yeah anyways i love this dude man um he's crazy when i give him food he'll strike it like three or four times sometimes and just never hit it and like he sometimes swallows his food upside down he be doing the most um he be what bro what are you talking about man when he like tries to smell in the air um when he's laying in my hand he'll sometimes just go upside down so yeah that's awesome but other than that he's pretty he's becoming more and more stable if that makes sense i don't know if it like the wobble can maybe get less and less the older they get but it seems like that's what's been happening to this dude because when i first got him it was so hard trying to get him to eat bro but now he's been slowly like for the last three times that i fed him he would bite food and just hit it every single time and wrap it around real quick like he's been doing some normal python type stuff bro i don't know if i got that magical cure you know what i'm saying i'd be like whoop to my ball python and he'd just be cured but yeah who the hell really knows Honestly, just because of how much he's changed over time in the sheer amount of like not being a crackhead anymore and being like a civilized human being or Paul Python being, snake being, I don't know. This guy would have to give, I would have to give this full a 9 out of 10, bro. Okay? Because I did enjoy his crackhead personality of being kind of like dumb. So I, since he switched that up, I would drop it down to a 7 because that's what I really loved about him. But since he was able to have the courage and switch it up and able to learn with his brain power, that's that brings him all the way back up to a nine, bro. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? His life, his overall life is probably better. But my greedy ad, I want him to be all... You know what I'm saying? I, I was gonna... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. This is my snake. I got one more lizard for y'all. Um, I was actually... You know, I'm not going to do any of my baby reptiles just because they're too young to really tell their personality. But if you guys really enjoyed this type of video, I'll do it for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because um, baby snakes and lizards do have personalities. It's just, I got so many of them that it, the video would be at an hour long, bro. Like this video probably going to be 20, 30 minutes long already. Just off the rip for me talking and I ramble on. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna get my last lizard out. It's a lizard that you guys probably barely know that I have. Only a few real freaking watcher watching every single video would probably know that I have this one. Just because I've been wanting to keep it a secret. Because I've really been wanting to see how it reacts before I show it off to you guys. And yeah, let me just stop talking about it and bring out the other lizard. So yeah, this is my ball python. And let's get that other lizard, bruh. So I mean, for this last part, we might as well go back to the original way of recording because let me show y'all what I got in here. That's my Sudan giant plated lizard. And this fool is psychotic, okay? He is the shyest freaking thing that I have ever met. I don't want to take him out and hold him on camera just because of how shy he is, but I will do this. Because even me doing this right now, he might not eat for like a day or two, bro, I swear to God. Okay, so now y'all can see him more. And he is, no, he is concerned about nothing, but is trying to escape right now. Okay, I'll catch him every every once in a while. He's in shed right now, as y'all can probably see. But I'll catch him every once in a while, getting some sun. And then as soon as I walk into the room, he'll zoop right back into his hide, bruh. And I tried giving him veggies the other day, and he did eat some. Um, he has eaten continental roaches only here and there. 
any other feeder, Dubia roaches, superworms, all that, he will not touch. So I'm gonna try hissing cockroaches probably later on today. And yeah, hopefully he'll eat them. But yeah, man, this guy, this guy is just, I don't know what the hell is wrong with him, bro. He doesn't bite or anything. Um, he'll just stay limp in your hand, but he's just so shy, bro. And I understand that he's wild caught, as you can see, look at all them scars on him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't expect him to be this beat up when I bought him because I got him for my birthday for my mom. And yeah, bro, I feel so bad for him. I just want to give him a new home, like a good home. I'm not going to rehome him or anything just because of like, look how cool he is. And it's going to be so rewarding if I'm able to get this guy to not be such a shy Shelly and more of a confident Billy. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm just making up my own sayings at this point. But yeah, man, he has beautiful colors. And yeah, bro, honestly, I'll give this full about a 6 out of 10 just because of the sheer shyness he has like i'm scared to hold him because every time i hold him he won't eat for like two or three days after that so i don't even know how much this moving of the um hide is going to do to his confidence levels of wanting to be able to come out while i'm near him especially me holding this camera to his face so yeah guys seven out of ten that's my sudan giant plated lizard or no this is just the giant plated lizard this one's from africa not sudan and yeah let's put this hide back he's probably gonna get scared come on boy don't want to put it on him but yeah that worked perfectly and yeah guys that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed it i hope you liked it you know what i'm saying it was kind of a different video it was more professionally shot and yeah i enjoyed making it so let me know if you guys want a part two of all the baby snakes and stuff that i have because i got a bunch of new rosy boas got all my alligator lizards got my sand boa and possibly even some more snakes i might get in the future so yeah guys also since it is my birthday um on friday i will be going out and finally going herping that i really want to go you know what i'm saying um out in palm springs night cruising the roads so hopefully i'll be able to get some good shots for you guys then and yeah i might not be able to post a video on friday because of that so just to warn you guys i'll try to if i can't i'll post a video tomorrow even though thursday's my off day but Oh, damn, but it's my birthday, too. I have the whole family coming over. So, yeah, guys, I'll try to grind. I'll try to post a video for y'all, but don't don't get mad if I can't do it, okay, bro? It's my birthday, bro. Cut me some slack. And, yeah, guys, that's the end of today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and late. I'll see you on the next one. Late!